Hi everybody, my name is Cliff Anderson. I'm a librarian at Vanderbilt University and a member of Vanderbilt's Computational Thinking and Learning Initiative. This short video is a preface to my introduction to programming with NetsBlocks. NetsBlocks is a visual programming language that makes it easy and fun to learn to program. And NetsBlocks allows you to do pretty advanced things like peer-to-peer -peer networking and making remote procedure calls. This series will start with the basics of programming in NetsBlocks and step-by-step, video-by-video, teach you what you need to write some really advanced code. Just like you see in the preface to a book, I'd like to start by giving credit to the people and organizations on whose work I'm building. To begin with, I'd like to thank the developers of the SNAP programming language. SNAP is a block-based programming language developed at the University of California, Berkeley, that borrows from the visual vocabulary of Scratch but draws inspiration from the semantics of Scheme. The primary developers of SNAP are Jens Munich and Brian Harvey. NetsBlocks builds on SNAP, extending its functionality. If you want to check out SNAP for yourself, visit snap.berkeley.edu. A lot of what I teach in this course will work in SNAP as well as in NetsBlocks. If I'm doing something that only works in NetsBlocks, I'll make sure to flag that for you. Second, I'd also like to thank the developers of the beauty and joy of computing curriculum. The beauty and joy of computing teaches the fundamentals of computer science at both the high school and college level with an emphasis, as the name suggests, on aesthetics and playfulness. I'd encourage you to check out the curriculum online at bjc.berkeley.edu and especially to watch Dan Garcia's TEDx Berkeley talk on the origins and principles of the BJC. I myself have taught the, the beauty and joy of computing to undergraduates at the School of Engineering at Vanderbilt University. If you want, you can check out my curriculum online on github.com slash cliffordanderson slash cs1000. What I teach during this video series is not a one-to-one -one port of that course, but it certainly draws inspiration both from the BJC and from my experience teaching undergraduates at Vanderbilt. Finally, I'd like to thank my colleagues at Vanderbilt who have developed NetsBlocks, most particularly Akos Ladeshi, professor of computer engineering at Vanderbilt University and principal investigator of NetsBlocks as well as Brian Broll, research scientist at Vanderbilt and lead architect of the NetsBlocks software. Last but not least, I'd like to credit the use of Alonzo, the friendly sprite modeled on Gobo from scratch. The difference is in the tail. Do you see how Alonzo has a fork tail? We'll get to why there is that difference later in this course. For now, let me thank the creators of Gobo and Alonzo for making this cute sprite to accompany us on our programming journey. Ready to learn how to program? Check out the next video in this series, and let's get started together.